Hello everyone, we're Mas Charlie. Charlie. Today we're going to talk about blending brushes in Krita. And how to make one and where to find them. Yeah. Right? Because sometimes they're hard to find. Yeah. But we're going to show you where they are and yeah. How to make how them. them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to start off, uh, you can find uh, blending brushes in the edit brush settings right here. Mm -hmm. Teeny tiny. Mm -hmm. And a menu will pop up. So yours may look like this. Yours may look not. like this. <laughs> um, on the side here, uh, we're going to click this teeny tiny arrow. Right to the left. Right there you go. Right there, and it will open up this menu. Mm -hmm. so this is an important menu you're going to need for this. It's like all the brushes in the entire system. So yeah. And this literal section is where you're going to actually see what engine the brush is made from right yeah so when you click that yeah when you it's awesome when you click that uh, drop down menu this is actually the examples of all the different engines that the brushes are made with in Krita, in Krita right? yeah and we're gonna pick cl color smudge yes so believe it or not the color smudge engine is where blenders are going to be made they, <laughs> that is true that is where they're made <laughs> Uh, you can only make blender brushes with a brush built inside the color smudge engine. Yeah. Um, and basically all the other brushes that aren't made in this engine, yeah, you know they'll, they'll have different attributes. So the ability to have a mixing quality is where this engine comes in. Yes. So, yeah. uh, for example, uh, a lot of these brushes put down paint mm -hmm. as well as blend kind of blend so just to just to share that this one has uh, a nice blending mixing mm -hmm. quality there you go see and so it'll mix the pigment and it will mix it as well as lay it down yeah but we want to make something that just blends exactly. and it doesn't put down any color exactly. so we're going to show you an easy way to do this it's like the fast and easy way to make and customize a, a blender yeah there we go we have found that in the general menu, where it's all the different settings, there is one that is called color rate. And it's gonna be right down almost to the middle, right there, yeah. And if you turn that off, so untick it, there you go. That setting is what actually allows the brush in the color smudge engine to lay down color with it. So if you turn it off, there's no more color. Yeah. So it just becomes a blender. That's it. And that's, that's it. so cool. That just makes it so much, that's so. It's such a fast way to make yeah. a, a brush already from a brush in Krita. Exactly, because there's a lot of brushes that, you know, use the engine and they have different attributes. So, the this specific uh, wet bristle rough is going to have this look and it's going to blend in this you know fashion. So yeah. So just so real fast. Just the first fast yeah. brush that <laughs> that is a blending brush in Krita. So. Uh, then we'll just save this as a new brush preset. Exactly. So we'll click that, mm -hmm. and then we will rename it uh, Bristles Rough Blender. There we go. Or it's going to be Wet Bristle Brush Blender, I think. It's yeah. Be oh, there yeah, you're right. There, there it is. is. There <laughs> it is. Okay. We should probably change the yeah. icon as well, just so that we know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Go to Load from Icon I Load from Icon Library. Exactly. And we'll just pick something. We could pick the same one. There we go. And show that it's a Blending. blender. You can change the hue if you want, if you will customize it. There you yeah. go. Yeah. That's, ooh, ooh, that's a good go. one. I like that. That's, that's cool. cool. Let's do I that. Like it. Yes. Okay. Press OK. There we go. So and then, now we know that's the brush. And then we'll press save. Save. Exactly. That, then you just made, if you followed along with us, you just made your first blending brush mm -hmm. in Krita. Mm -hmm. And we already made a tag for this so we can find it. Mm -hmm. So you can make a tag here uh, and say blender and- Let's do it. Yeah. Let's actually show, where is it? It's, we, 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 we need to find We already made is, one right, right here, mm -hmm. blender. And these are some of the brushes we've already made. Yeah. But to find the brush you made, you can you know put it in the search engine, go to all, and then maybe search your brush. Here, it's already here. <laughs> Wet bristles, rough blender. So that was very convenient. Yeah. Then we will right click and we'll assign it to tag and, put and it then in the blender. put it in blender. Yeah. And if you don't already have that, all you do is just make a new one like we said before. Yeah. But it's really important to have this separate tag because 
That's the point. A lot of the blenders are hidden. Like for example, if you go into painting, you go all the way down to paint. Uh, yeah, no, yes, you put right a here. on it and you go all the way down, you're gonna notice those purple ones. And those yeah. are actually in the color smudge. Now, if you actually wouldn't mind clicking those and just putting them into the blender uh, tag. So oh, all you're yeah, gonna do right is press click. your right click and you're gonna assign to a tag and you're gonna put them into the blender. Mm -hmm. So maybe these are different brush, you know, uh, groups that you have, you can just give them a different tag so that when you want to, you know exactly where the blender is. Okay. See, and it just gets added. Yeah. And that's just up to your preferences as a user. So there you go. Yeah. So you made a new brush, super simple and fast, and then... We're gonna show you right. the second way to yes, make a brush. Yes, this one's different, for sure. This one's very different. And we'll get kind of a little bit more into the engine, so it's kind of make you more comfortable and make a brush that's more stylized to what you might might be looking for. Exactly. So back into the brush editor, we're going to make a brush from absolute scratch. And to do that, go all the way on the bottom of the left corner, there's a little plus icon, and you click it, and then it'll pop up the menu so you can decide on what engine you want to make your brush from. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna choose color smudge. Exactly. Because that's where the brushes live. <laughs> and then actually up at the top left, it says default smudge. Yeah. So it's like just this default brush, but we're gonna turn the color rate off, right? So that it no longer will lay down any color. Yeah. And now it's just a blender, right? Yes. There we go. Now we'll get into some of the cool nitty gritty bits mm -hmm. about this. So first thing we'll do, we'll change up the brush tip mm -hmm. and we can make 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 this bigger. For sure. Yeah, because right? it can be very small. Yeah, so we want to test it. So it could start out small. So we're going to make it about 50, 55, 55 is good. 55, 50, there you yeah. go. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go to, let's see. And you can even give it a pre predefined, predefined texture. You know, yeah. Something like that. This is nice. Then we'll go to the brush tip. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's we try. recommend a brush tip that is more opaque. So ones that have that are darker, because the ones that seem a little bit gray or they're you know more seem a little more transparent. Um, sometimes they you don't really get like a really bold effect of blending. Yeah. You know? So yeah. So we're gonna try this one, chisel dense smear. Mm -hmm. you so you can and you can test it on the side too. Yeah. That you like. Also, you can test it if you bring this brush editing window down mm -hmm. and just actually select a you know layer that you want to blend and you can actually blend on your canvas that you have just to test because you know if you're creating a new blender you probably have an idea of what you want the blender to do or its effect right yeah so it's kind of good to be able to know that, that you, you know just, you can just go straight into your canvas that you're working on and just blend. go for it yeah so it's kind of cool I, I like was, that. I thought that was a great I love that. personally that it's live. I you know, agree. Because you usually would just think that you'd go over just to the scratch this. pad, you know, yeah. But it's neat because it's kind of like, okay, that's cool, but I want it to actually have a specific right. effect. So, sorry. And you could change, <laughs> you could also take out um, spacing. You yes. That. Some brushes that it sort of looks like it's a bunch of little steps, like it's like, ch -ch 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 -ch, like laying it down in weird little steps. Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe take that spacing out, it'll be really smooth and soft. Also, let's see, if you want to go to smudge length, this yes. is a very important one here. And very important. it's on smearing right now. And this is what kind of just pulls mm -hmm. the paint. But we want to do something that's more blenderly. So we're going to pick dulling. And this is what makes it that kind of like softer look. Exactly. So we're going to try that. There we go. Maybe it's Strength is actually something where it, it definitely will show how defined your brush is. You know, in a way, like it really feels strong. Like it's really like, oh, that's strong. Like you really can yeah. tell, you know, because so sometimes it's, you know, you have like a more softer, subtle. softer, subtle, yeah. nice, subtle vibe here for the, uh, I like Blend. this. This is very nice, yeah. soft when you, you uh, change up the strength so it could be nice and soft. Yeah. And then when you uh, make it a it's strength, like it's like, oh, yeah. bold. It works very differently. <laughs> yeah. And it's all up to personal preference, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So I'll probably, probably cool. make that a little, little less. Maybe. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. And then also, so we tried that. Also, there's um, a rotation is a fun one you can use. So mm -hmm. if you click on rotation, it kind of rotates the brush a bit. Mm -hmm. You should show it. I'll show it. Yeah, yeah, I'll show it. Cool. This is cool. Mm -hmm. so, so it kind of yeah. moves it around. As you move, right? As, as so it'll go with the direction of your brush. Yeah. Very cool. So that's kind of a neat neat way it can be yeah 
So you can put fuzzy dab. I like the fuzzy dab myself. That makes it seem like it's a little more natural. Yeah, you know? that's kind See, of that's a so nice. That's so cool, look at that. That's a neat effect. So there's so many different things you can do with this. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's pretty cool. This is another thing we wanted to show. Um, also, this is kind of fun, just, just to show for fun. Uh, we're gonna show this in the background. You can do scatter. Yeah. So that's kind of fun if you ever want to do something like that for a brush. Mm -hmm. Scatter will do that. That's really cool. That also has the strength where you can change the strength of that. Yeah. So it's not as large, right? So it's yeah. kind of like smaller and it yeah, uses. Yeah, softer. Right? It's more of a softer blend. Those are kind of neat for backgrounds or different things like yeah, that. Yeah, that's cool. I yeah. think that's a fun one it's to do. It's a cool do. little fun thing. So we're going to. Experiment, right? Yeah, we're going to experiment with that. We're going to click it on and off and test mm -hmm. things. Pattern is super cool. Definitely recommend going to pattern. If you click pattern, mm -hmm. you can, uh, we're going to show two things in pattern. This is really cool. So you can make a texture yes. in this. So we're just going to click one mm -hmm. and you can kind of see the texture in it. Oh, let's try here. Yeah. You can It'll see it more it. here. It'll do. Yeah, let's sorry. see. <laughs> You show it down here, like near the blue and the green. Yeah. Or maybe in the white. The white. There, there we go. There it is. See, now see, you can kind that. of see that this brush has now a texture to it. Very cool. That's really nice. Yeah. So, uh, and you can experiment with that. There's, there are Obviously a, lot of, a lot of textures. A lot right? of textures to experiment <laughs> with. See, this one has more of like a ca that canvas mm -hmm. look. That's cool. It too, Especially that... if you want to do oil painting. Yeah, that's actually kind of nice. Blend, stay with the canvas texture. That's nice. Yeah. Also, the one I would say is um, if you go into options, right? This is a different setting as well inside of this yeah. pattern. Um, and the way that the texture mode is being like processed, you know, like it's kind of a blending mode, it's honestly, has different ones. We have found there's one called Hard Mix Photoshop in here, which might lend itself a little bit better from people who are transferring or transferring or, you know, who have switched <laughs> from Photoshop to uh, Krita. This might lend itself a little bit more to you as that, you know, as a user. So, but this is a really cool one, you know, where we've actually found it definitely has different effects for different users. Like I'm a little bit, yeah, uh, I'm a little bit um, lighter, light hand. Yeah, yeah I'm much handed. more heavy handed and he's much more yeah. lighter so with his brush. this may have a different effect, like I'm doing it right now. So it's a little bit lighter, right? And it's one of those things you just have to, you know, get used to using and it's kind of cool. But see how it can have a different effect for different users? That's something we definitely wanted to talk about where just take the time and, and, and you know, give yourself that moment to create the brush you want to, you know? Yeah, experiment yeah. with it. Yeah, that's definitely important to do because sometimes, you know, the brush night might not be right for you or you know, the look you're going for, that kind of a thing. So yeah. So you could turn any of these functions on and off. Exactly. So, so what do you think? You like Back that? to you. Do you I like, I that, like that personally. I All think right. that's a nice one. Let's do it. Let's use it. Mm -hmm. So those are just to, just to show you, you can change up the brush tip, the smudge length, mm -hmm. uh, rotation and a pattern. There you go. Uh, and we're going to save, save it as this. a new brush preset. There we go. All right. Let's do this. Let's call this. Can we just call this? Um, I would actually call this a Canvas Blender. Canvas Blender. Yeah. There we go. Very fancy. Nice. Well, because it's got the canvas texture, right? Yeah, it does. That's I like fine. that. Just so that I know what it is. And then we'll load from Icon Library, mm -hmm. and then you get to pick a cool brush mm -hmm. for it. So it's kind of Canvas Blender. Let's do a paintbrush. Yeah, I would. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I like that. Let's do a it. A flathead. And oh, then cool. we can change up the hue. It's fun. We like to make them kind of funky so you can really tell the difference yeah. if it's blend or not. Mm -hmm. So you can always just play with these. That's cool. I like that. Let's That's do cool. that. I'm on that. And then we'll press okay. okay. There it is. It has that new name. We'll save, save it. it. Boom. Nice. And, and then it's going to be findable somewhere, right? So yeah. So you can actually go into. So go. you can go into all and it will either be there or you can type it type the name. If you can't find it, you can always type the name in the search bar. Right at the bottom of the docker. Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then right, right mouse, click. Right mouse, yeah. Yeah, Assign right mouse click. Assign to tag. Assign to tag. And, and then blender. Boop. boop. And then it, it will is. be in your blender tag. There it is. There it is. There's okay. some, some cool stuff. So you can close that out. Yeah, we'll there. close out the brush editor and mm -hmm. just like have fun with some of the cool 
brushes that we've experimented mm -hmm. and made exactly. that you can make ones that look like this kind of texture or <laughs> yeah maybe look just like change your brush tips right yeah that's what a lot of these were change your brush tips change the pattern texture and you'll have different effects so yeah kind of cool right yeah it's cool kind of works out Ooh, yeah you can shadow shadow see can be done. fun stuff so you mm -hmm. can really just like experiment and have fun on mm -hmm. anything you make with different exactly. different textures and and just have fun blending and making yeah. brushes. Yeah, we hope this helps people out who've had trouble finding uh, blenders um, to their liking uh, in Krita because it was brought to our attention that, you know, there really aren't, you know, an easily accessible way to find these blenders. So we just wanted to really make a point that you can make them yeah. and you can find them. They are here. And they are This in brush Krita, engine yeah. is so intuitive when yes. you really just sit down to use it and just sort of experiment because that's all it really is going to take you know yeah. a little experimentation a lot of patience but you know in the end it'll work and you know you'll find what you're looking for yeah right yeah there we go okay yeah yes okay Mom's Lost family out. out have fun blending yeah <laughs> <laughs> if you have any questions please just leave them in the comments and we'll get them as soon as we can okay Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs>